Hey, what is going on you guys? So today we are talking about the most perfectly executed game in the history of games and that is Breakpoint. <laughs> in all serious though, um, this game, you know, has had its fair share of problems and when I mean fair share, I mean fair share. But it would also be wrong to not mention on how this game has also made steps to um, correct those mistakes to get the community's feedback to try and implement those things into the game as well as um, you know just trying to make the game orders. better now and that is thing. that is a good thing but on the opposite end of that they've also done update after update without things that we want in the game especially for PvP and honestly you know that's where the crossroads come on hating, loving, however you feel about Ubisoft, um, you know, or Ghost Recon, you know, you just, we want the best of it because we know the game has potential. And what I think year two brings for us is definitely um, another year of breakpoint and, you know, changes need to be made. But this could be a very productive year to get those made, to get those changes made and uh, maybe at least get this game to an actual polished um, place so that it's not so more. riddled with at least bugs. Um, but it's already February, and to be honest, I think if we're being realistic, because um, basically we're going to be making predictions and talking about what the I'm game should have in year two, and what to also realistically Target expect, down. not what do we want on our wish list. Um, it's a little bit of that, but it's also just realistic what this game can get done, but what it also will probably bring us. Now, this game probably needs an update every month. Um, so, if it's February, and um, from Basie's tweet, and just from talking to him sometimes, it seems like there's going kind to of be an update coming up. And it could be potentially a very big title update. But, um, if they want to go that route, it definitely means, like, less bulky updates uh, for Target the game. Eliminated. Uh, you know, at, not as often as we would probably want. You know, like, once a month, once every two months. But, if they can get out, you know, eight updates entirety, and maybe it's two to four huge updates as far as, like, title updates and really getting problems solved, I think that would be good. But if, I would expect about eight updates whether they're patches or whatever form of an update to the game there is um, i would expect probably around six to eight um especially now that we're in february and i think i don't know if uh, we haven't really we had a patch so i guess you can call that an update but not yeah, i wouldn't um but after that i think what needs to happen in like in order for the at least the first couple first thing is bug fixes and mostly this is going to be about pvp obviously that's what i do on this uh channel but the invisible glitch in this game needs to be fixed. I, I put out a video in the past um, of literally dying from someone I cannot see. From literally dying from an invisible person. And this, this, this should not happen. It's game breaking and it ruins the PvP. And it's just really, it's unacceptable, not like in a Karen way, like, it's a game, you know, it's in here, it's it's just not good, and I'm obviously, it's it's acceptable, obviously, because it's on my damn game, but it's unacceptable as, you know, a professional standpoint, like, you cannot play a game with invisible no, enemies, that just doesn't work, that's, that's terrible, so that needs to be fixed immediately. The matchmaking just needs to get buffed out. I don't know what was going on with it. It seems like it's getting back to a more normal point. Um, but it would be wrong to not bring that up. Because the matchmaking has been a little bit of a mess. Um, but other than that, really, the other thing I can think of is, you know, the digi site still hasn't been changed. Um, you know, I don't know if people are still having DC problems disconnecting. But um, just make sure that doesn't come back. And I think the servers just need to be optimized more for the game. And um, really, that's bug fixes for me that I can think of. If you guys think of any, let, let me know in the chat um, or in the comments, you know, what bugs you've experienced, even if it's in PvE. Because I honestly don't know anything about PvE too much. Um, I've played it, but I don't play enough to know bugs and stuff like that. So let me know. But next on my list was maps. We need maps, and it doesn't matter. In my opinion, I would love a CQC map, a close quarters combat map, like with a lot of buildings or structures to to peek around and to have some cool firefights. Firefights, but um, 
yeah, I think we need some maps, and I, I definitely think two need to be in the next update at at a bare minimum. I think we need to have a lot more maps, though. I think we need if we have two the next update. I think there needs to be four to six in the next updates coming coming later on in the year for year two. But there should be probably like six to eight maps um, that are given to us this year, if it was gonna be a executed well, an executed, an executed well update uh, in a good year for the game. But at, at the same time, we could only get four to two. You know, who knows? Um, but hopefully, this you know, in a in a perfect world, we would have about like six to eight maps. The next thing we definitely need are operators. We need something like Tekken this game so much. Uh, we need something that, uh, a class that has an operator where you can put down a jammer and you can get rid of the drones in the sky and get rid of that for a little bit so you can do some tactical playing. And it would be nice to actually be able to shut down that Pathfinder when it's in the sky um, because that thing is damn annoying. But other than that, I think what another cool class would be is uh, I'll go with the less you know likely one first, but I think a recon class would be cool, and I don't know what exactly the the um, the equipment like the you know how assault has its gas grenade. I don't know what the equipment would be, but for its specialty, I think what would be cool for a recon class is if it had like a specialized drone, and that drone got like. A similar mark to like a sensor grenade that gets shot out of a, a you know out of the Pathfinder drone, but it's not a sensor grenade at all. Actually, what it, I think what would be cool is if you're able to, you know, highlight a certain part of the map within a certain radius, uh, and anywhere like wherever that radius is on the map that you're using. Um, I wish you could scan that area and like get a mark on one or all the people that are within the radius. And I think that would be pretty awesome as far as being able to do that for Recon Drone. I don't think it's too OP. Um, but that's just, you know, my thought on, like, what a cool uh, operator would be that, you know, isn't just piggybacking off of an old one from Wildlands. But other than, you know, tech and recon operators, I think we definitely need something like the Trapper or a Sapper. And what I mean by Trapper is, like... Um, a operator that has some kind of mine or trap for people and if they don't want to bring back if they don't want to bring back mines you know okay I'm fine with that if you don't want to have it to where you know maybe in wildlands I think too many people just use the mines to like cover a body they killed but you know what that's just the way that's just the way of the game you know you just gotta you just gotta freaking learn it and then crawl up to defuse it but if they don't want to go that way because people die too quick to it then use it make it a sapper drone or a sapper trap uh you know where it stuns you you get flashbangs you can't move for a certain amount of time because that's pretty lethal too but you know you still have a chance of surviving but if they come in on you like you're screwed but i think that would tech and trapper or sapper would be awesome and recon ubisoft if you can make that happen i will love you forever um, but other than that, we need game modes. We definitely, 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 da -da 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 -da. we definitely need game modes, okay? We need an uplink and hostage. Uh, we need one or both of those game modes from Wildlands. Super easy. Copy, paste. You're good. Um, like, I don't know why those aren't even in the game right now. But another mode that would be cool is, like, some kind of CQC mode or something. I don't know. Use your imagination for that one. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think would be cool. That's not a respawn mode. You guys love respawn. Like, come on. I know it. I know you guys love it. Okay? It's okay. You can love it. Because I also have a respawn mode as a, um, you know, I'm going to tell you what I think would be a cool respawn mode for the game. But give me a 4v4 mode, guys. Come on. None of you guys give some 4v4 love. Just come up with a game mode, bro. You know? But that's just me. I like the 4v4. High stakes. I don't like to respawn too much. But if there was a respawn mode, it would need an objective. And I think what would be cool is, like, control in Call of Duty or headquarters where you hold down a certain spot and maybe you maybe your respawns you know run out when you're holding the spot or you just try and control a certain spot on the map and you have a certain amount of respawns or tickets but I think that would be cool as far as game modes happening and I think all of this 
can definitely be done by a game developer and it should be done by this game developer because this game needs to get polished and I think year two is the year of just grinding their asses off on this game making it the game they really want it to be and this is you know obviously perfect scenario you know best case scenario for us but um this is definitely doable all the things I said and I hope they do it because this game needs it needs some love but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments uh, and other than that that's all I got for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed hit that sub button but if not man I hope you guys have a good one stay safe out there and that's all I got